Hang on, Ben. Let me ask here. Oh, man. Uh, let me get the thing moved up just a little closer here. Oh, man, we got some... We got some stuff to talk about today. Get this leg to go back down in here just a tad. This one's going to fall over. All right. Now. Well. Hang on just a minute. You know what? It would help. If I started adjusting this stuff before I started these videos, that way everything would already be. You know, set up and ready. Man, sitting too sideways. I'll tell you what. What happens when you get excited? All right. So how's everybody been? Yes, it's been three weeks. Well, about two weeks since I've done a video. After I said that, you know, I was going to do a lot of videos. Here's the deal. It snowed and was right around zero degrees for one week. All right, well, it's no excuse. You know, I did do a snow driving video at night with my Subaru, and man, that Subaru done awesome. But anyway, we won't talk about that a whole lot. Anyway, we, uh, then, after the snow started melting, it started raining. And it rained for a good two weeks. And it just kept raining. It rained every day. Then I turned on the news one day and I was watching it. I said, I better watch the weather. Well, they come on there with this graphic they put up on the screen and said, you know, we've had the normal for the year supposed to be like three inches. And we'd had like six point something. We had doubled it, okay? And then the very next graphic they put up was saying that we were still in a drought. A dry to moderate drought. And I'm like, do you not walk out? I can't walk through my yard without burying up past my ankles and mud. And they say we in a drought. I don't watch the weather anymore. I just look up. Oh, man. But anyway, what I'd like to talk to you all about was just a little bit something that I'm going to start doing. A little something new. Hey, like that shadow. I'm trying to keep the sun out of my eyes. Something new I'm going to do this year. And, uh, I'm thinking it's going to do really well. Actually got some stuff coming in the mail that uh, should be here. Ah, I'm hoping by this weekend, this next weekend, don't know yet, you know, how the mail is. You know, you order something today and it'll say, you know, this will be here in two days and it'll come in a month later. But I got this thing coming in the mail that's going to be pretty exciting. And let me, <laughs> I am beyond excited. Okay, and this all started from, uh, I was watching this show, I won't, I won't really say what the name of the show is, but it's these, these people on this island that's got, you know, this island that's got a bunch of oak trees, oh, that was that, this island that's got a bunch of oak trees on it up there off the coast of Canada, I watch it, and I got to see this guy, he done this, uh, this metal detector, well, I said, I need to start doing that. So about a month ago, I went up up on the mountain there, and I found this little hole back in the rock. So I crawled back in that hole, and I moved some leaves around, and next thing I know, I got 900 views on, on that video. And I'm like, you know what? This Sasquatch stuff needs to be set back here on the back burner. Now, it don't need to be completely out of the picture, because I may be out there metal detecting and run across the Sasquatch. You don't know, you know? And, and a little something about that. We got a lot of stuff to talk about today. So y'all just sit back and grab you some popcorn or get you a cup of coffee or whatever because we are gonna talk for a minute. And anyway, I just keep getting this stuff put in my head and I got a little demonstration to do after a while too. But anyway, huh, where was I? Oh yeah. And I, and you know, I got all them views on that and I said, I need to start doing that. Well, how in the world? So I mentioned it on my video. About a week later, I get a package in the mail from Joe and Shirley and uh, really good friends of mine. And I open it up, and I have this shovel in it. Not only do I have that in it, I have a pinpointer metal detector. See that? 
I never was as excited. And, uh, man, I tell you. So that prompted me to order a bigger metal detector to go with this pinpointer. Because what you do is you scan over it with the big one. When you get a hit, you dig it up, and you take the little metal detector and you probe around through the dirt until you, you know, you find what you need. Matter of fact, I got a little something set up right now to kind of show y'all how it works. And and uh, let's just get right to that. Let's just go ahead and do our little demonstration here. That has scared me to death. Hang on, let me get this thing going here. I might have to let this high pot all the way down. Y'all be patient. Let's see. How's this one look? Oh, yeah, this one goes this way, and this way, and then this one goes. Up. Oh, man, that shrunk it. All right. Now, what we got here. Let me get my, get my metal detector here. This thing's pretty neat. I like it. Now, what you do is you turn it on and you listen. Okay. You get this beep. Actually, you need to hold it until it beeps, I think. And what you do is, like if you're, you get a big pile of dirt, right, and you take this. I've already got something pre-staged about right here in this area. So y'all listen. All right, so right there. Huh. Look at that. I have found two pennies. That's how you just kind of go through your dirt and, you know. Man, I was excited. I said, turn that off. Don't want my battery go dead. And uh, I, I never was as excited. And I said, I'll tell you what I can do. I'll order me a big one. And I will stay in the woods. Metal detector. I almost throw my pennies away. Don't do that. My dad always told me a penny would turn into a wagon wheel. Now, a lot of people probably don't know what that means, but I do. Someday, a penny will be as big as a wagon wheel, he'd say. Ground's still wet. What about that? I'd say it is after it's rained for a month. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, I got my little metal detector, and I'll tell you what, I was so excited. Got a little carrying case. Tell you. Y'all don't know how much I appreciate that either. Because, you know, people just, you know, just up to come, come and find something like that sitting on your front porch in a box. And it means a lot. It means a lot more than people know. And I will say, I appreciate it. But anyway. I see. So we're going to start metal detecting this year. You got to wait for my stuff to come in. It should be in. Hopefully within the next two to three weeks, we'll be out there and we'll be trying to find some uh, some stuff. I got several places I want to look. Matter of fact, right around this area right here, I know there used to be an old house way out there. There used to be one way down here in this highway. Oh, well, there used to be houses all over the place here. And uh, back in the 30s, this old town up the road here, back in the 30s, back in the 1930s, uh, it used to be a big coal mine in town, okay? That's all they did around here was coal mine, coal mines, everywhere coal mines. This place used to be booming, okay? And and there was people everywhere around here. They, they come here for the coal mines. That's all they did, you know? And uh, there's some places that we need to go. We're going to search out there, and who knows what you might find. I mean, you know? <sighs> About you know several miles up that way. Matter of fact, they used to be a they was a place where there was a an actual skirmish during the Civil War, and we're gonna go look around in that place a little bit. And I know some people that owns the land up in there and where a lot of that stuff took place at. Now we're gonna go up in there and search that. I'm telling you what, I'm excited. Huh. Now we was talking about Sasquatch. Well. A lot of people say, well, there ain't no such thing as Bigfoot. Well, I'm going to tell you what I read today. Mammoth Cave, Kentucky. They found 
an ancient species of shark that was thought to be extinct. Okay. And then when they got to looking around, they found two more. I think they found like a total. It was either two or three that was living down in that cave in the water. Who would have thought it? That just goes to show you that they find new stuff every day. Okay. And I mean, who's to say that they ain't going to be able to find a shark? I mean, a Bigfoot. They can find a shark under the water. Someday Sasquatch will turn up and he'll be like, hey, y'all done. I've been living right here the whole time. Pretty excited about that. I get excited when they find new stuff like that. It makes me just want to go. That's about two hour drive. I'd like to just go down there and put on some scuba gear and go down in there and see if I could find one. I'd probably be the one that got eight by it, but maybe that's why nobody's ever found one. Eh, anyway. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about everything they got going on here. Uh, I like my metal detector. Got my little shovel, got a little saw on the side of it. Whew, I apologize for yawning. I'm tired, I got up early this morning. Been running around all day. And uh, I'm about to call it a day. And I got off work today. I said, I'm just gonna relax. There was something else I was gonna say, I was gonna talk about. Uh, there was so much stuff. And then I got sidetracked on my metal detector. And but metal detecting is going to be my hobby of choice for this year. And we're going to start running around doing a lot of that. And uh, hopefully if the weather if the weather cooperates, I think it's supposed to be warm. And it's better right behind me here. Where is it? You know, right up there on that head. Today is February the 3rd. Let me show y'all something. Today's February the 3rd, and I got to show y'all this. February the 3rd, people. Keep that in mind. Let's walk that over here. I want y'all to look at this. Let me walk that over here. Ow. You see that right there? That's Easter flowers. I've got Easter flowers. Ow. And brawlers. Coming up everywhere down here. Now when the Easter flowers start coming up, I start getting excited. Because that means spring is right around the corner. Oh man, you can't beat Easter flares. Oh, the weather's getting warmer. I like it. What else was I going to talk about? There's something else interesting. Hey, y'all know me. <laughs> I just sat down there and ramble on. I have to go up there and get me some coffee here directly. My block failed sometimes since I hung that up here a while back. It's been a couple of weeks and I come back down here today and it's failed. So, and of course, it was when we got all that snow and wind. I'm going to build me a place to put it instead of uh, hook it to a tree because that wind's probably blowed that tree and probably made it fall. So, I don't know. What else was it? There was something else I was going to talk about. I had all kinds of stuff. All right, man. Anyway, we're going to go back up there and we get my big metal detector in. And we're going to check that, that cliff line out. I think there used to be some old houses up in there, too. And, but, yeah, I got a, a lot of stuff I'd like to check. And we are really going to get into some metal detecting this year. And... Once again, I want to say I thank you for all the support that people's give me. People's, you know, you start getting down and discouraged and you get on there and you look at your videos and you got 16 views on one that's been up for two weeks. You're like, really? You know, and then there have been times you actually think about just calling it quits. And then and then somebody will, somebody will do something for you. Or they'll send you something or talk about, you know. And it's not people sending you stuff that keeps you going. It's when they say stuff like, you know, this helps get our, get their mind off stuff, and it, you know, they really enjoy it. And it just make to, to know that you make a difference. If it's just for one person, and listen, that's why I come out here and I turn this camera on, because I've said it a hundred times. If you're watching these videos and you're thinking, 
look at this guy. It don't matter if you're saying, this guy's good or this guy's an idiot. You know what? No mind's not on what's going on in the world. And I'm doing what I come out here to do. I'm proud of that. Oh. Yep, it'll be spring before you know it. Yesterday was Groundhog's Day up in here, and the groundhog did not see its shadow, which means that spring will be early. I say I got Easter flares over there. Spring's already here. It's real close. And uh, I don't watch the weather no more. I'm done with it. After, Especially after they said we was in a drought, and you couldn't even walk across the yard. The ground was so saturated. So I don't believe that. And uh, my wife told me the other day, she said, well, now they come back on there uh, that night after they put that graphic up and said that the drought was virtually over. And I said, well, yeah, they got to smooth it over, you know. Why do you put peanut butter on bread so it don't look like bread anymore? Oh, man. My tarp's going to blow. You should have seen this tarp when we got that 11 inches of snow down here. Man, I tell you what. I don't know how in the world it's still hanging because I mean it had pulled limbs down and it, it was a mess. Oh, so tired. Oh, I need a nap. I think I'll go take me one. I think I'll go get me a cup of coffee and take a nap. And uh, hopefully next week or we can be somewhere metal detected and we can uh, get these channels kicked up but I just wanted to I wanted to give y'all a heads up about which way we was going to go with this channel this year. Last year was a pretty good year. Subscribers went up. Everything went up. And, uh, and uh, you know, it's, that's, that's what we want to do with it. We want to keep it going up. And the metal detection idea, when, you know, I think that's going to really help it take off. And who would have thought, you know, I found a hole in a rock. Would have got 911 views. Maybe more than that now. I don't know. But I'm telling you. But I'm going to get off here. I'm going to head on back to the house and get everything packed up here. And I just wanted to show you all this metal detector I got in the mail and my little shovel. And we're going to let y'all know what we're getting ready to start doing so y'all can look forward to stuff like that. I'm going to try to do some more videos. There was something else I was going to talk about and I can't remember it. I should write all this stuff down. I'm going to start writing it down through the week on a piece of paper. That way I can say, what was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah, this. And, uh, yeah, I hate trying to think of stuff. I get excited about something, and then I forget everything else. But that's all right. If I think of it, I'll do another video. That just, that'll just help my help my videos along. <laughs> Stutter. One, one, you know. But anyway, it's Buddy Isaac. Y'all take care of yourself and each other, and I will see you soon. Hopefully with a metal detector. And uh, keep an eye out of these woods and under the ground. It's Buddy Isaac. And I'm out.